and it's Gordy here from Gordy's Games and I'm bringing you some Digimon TCG content today. It's a deck profile and we're staying red today. Um, we had Bond of Bra uh, Bravery, Water Jodo in Latin. If anybody didn't catch that in the name. Um, yeah, I got bored so I changed the name. My bad. Um, so yes, we're sticking red today and obviously the thumbnail will give you all the hints you need to know. You don't need to, need to tell you about it until you get to the profile. If you do like the, the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. So you know when this great content goes live for you. Also, I haven't I know I haven't been streaming as much on Twitch as of late. Obviously newborn, obviously things have changed uh, took a bit of a change. But I do ha still have the giveaway running for the All Four starter deck. Now the criteria for that is two hundred followers on Twitch and ten subs. I'm pretty sure I'm almost there. So to get involved, head on over to my Twitch, the details will be in the description below. Um drop a follow. If you're feeling generous, drop a sub, do whatever you want to do, if you're cool. And then in the go into the chat on the profile and then put exclamation mark ticket, and that will basically put you in for the giveaway. And who knows, this could be going to you, as well as some of the SRs that were listed there. I think it was some Dan Devi, Blastborn, War Gray, just a few old SRs, just to you know, just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So let's get into the profile. That's enough of me rambling. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we are at the old faithful layout. Every time I see this map, I mean, amazing, right? So we're gonna start off with eggs. Now, as I said, you may already know the list because you've seen the thumbnail. So we're gonna be running one demi mirror, preferably because it's an old deck, and because we're gonna be running four BB Demon. The demi mirror mod allows us to, uh, to give us a thousand buff when we swing at the player. So regardless of what doesn't matter what level you're at, as long as you're swinging at the player, you get a thousand. But if you have piercing, you gain two thousand. Obviously, with this deck, getting piercing is pretty easy. Um, if you're not getting piercing, it probably means you're in a bad way, and you're not seeing the right things. Right, moving on to level threes, uh, numbers and ratios are slightly off, well, slightly weird in this kind of list because of the system ones. So. We'll see. So 16 there, and if you take out three system ones, which are in here, we're going to 13 red rookies. To start it all off, we have four hook one. The best card, the best searcher at this current point. Um, really, really strong. Allows you to add up to two Digimon card names with hook one, Jesmon, and system one. So it applies to a lot of targets within the deck. Found a lot of the time you do, do ask yourself when you have this hand, do I want to digivolve it and draw one card or do I want to try and get two cards? Sometimes I will say it's honestly safe to just get the extra draw, but you know, capitalize on things like that isn't the worst thing. Uh, okay, moving on to the conjunction with that, we run three system ones. Don't judge me, alright? There's, there's one I'll, I'll be on its way soon enough. But yeah, three system on Blanc. I was running a four. I'm trying the three three split. I'm personally preferable to the four two split on thing. I like the CL's two K buff. It's a it's a tough one because I can't justify four and three. Um, but I like four. I like four and two. I I'm in four of this one purely because worst case scenario is you play this down, you draw a card. This along with the memory boost allows for a lot of draw power and a lot of ways to cycle through your deck. So it's a really really good card and obviously this one gives block up. Uh, going to our next card we have Argamon, uh, the 1000 DP buff Argamon, as I like to refer to him as Bowls Deep Argu. He has shown you everything he's got. Uh, after that we have two of the Gallop on the start at Argamon when you swing at the player, 2000 DP buff um, and that's just when attacking. So the good thing about that is that it actually stacks. Same as uh, Demira. So when Jesmon does swing numerous times, that will stack. So it makes him for a pretty beefly body. Uh, we run three Geomon, because we do run Gallants as our, our other Mega in this. And when your opponent's Digimon is deleted, trigger draw one. So in the Heritable, that's pretty strong in Heritable, because Jesmon can delete just as well as Gallantmon can. So this can come up. 
and then we run just a few vanillas. We're in two one hundred one. Uh, we run the Ganymon Star artwork because it just looks so much nicer. And then we run one of Beomon because I have one. Yes, the the remnants of all these little art thing are these alts. Don't judge me. Don't you judge me. <laughs> so that is level three. Uh, level four. There we go. Once again, slightly out of ratios. We run thirteen level fours. Uh, ten of those are red level four, so we run three system on CL. Really good card. It's nice to have a pl uh, the uh, three of these altered out as well. They're really strong. Giving a two K buff on all turns to uh, any Royal Knight or Hookman. It's great because that applies to your Gallop Mon, it applies to your smaller Hook Mons because I had it in a game the other day where somebody decided to farm one by Hook Mon um, but I had this out so it's 4k and they loaded by 3k It's a great times Got your 4 bow Hook Mon Really strong card, allows you to get rid of a 5k on swing if you have a, a Digimon with System in, in its name in play delete one of your opponent Digimon with 5,000 DP or less so rookie roof, you can you can pop stuff there. Blockers, you know, it's really strong. I do like the card. The whole Hookmon lineup, Jesmon stuff is just incredible. Uh, we run two of the starter Greymon. Uh, just getting that additional check with Jesmon. I would like to run more of it, but I'm just trying to figure out where I can cut things down a little bit. Um, because you potentially getting four checks out of a yeah, Jesmon it is pretty pretty good. Uh, then we run two of the blocker. The reason I only run two blockers is because technically this deck has a lot of added blockers by the system on block. Obviously, yeah, if I don't see the block, I'm in a bit of trouble there because I've only got two blockers. And that doesn't tend to happen that much. Not with the hook ones, and not with the memory boost, and not with the added draw powers from the block itself. Uh, you, you tend to see a lot of your pieces not always in the right order, mind you. That is a fact. But you know, we may do what we have. Oh, done a line. I play three blockers. Why was that hiding out of the way? Three blockers. That feels a bit better. Probably could go down to two though. Proof of thought. But yeah, we need at least some base blockers in here because um, System on Blanc herself is only 3k. Um, so being popped by, let's say, the Mirror and the Starter Gallimons, they pop a 4k or less. Um, so they're just going to keep repeatedly popping the system on blocks, and obviously if their their start gun has a savior hook on it and a system on Zach because it's in a Jesmon list, that's going to pop two by that point. So we have to have some kind of uh, alternative outs, and then we run a one of a Goonie. Uh, a Goonie is what a Goonie does. Is your odd win condition. You never you never really play into it. Um, it's just there just in case kind of thing. You all know how it is. Moving on to level 5s. Probably the most important card in the deck. Uh, save your Hookmon. The reason being, when Digivolving you may play one card from, uh, one Digimon card with System 1 in its name from your hand without playing its memory cost. So I get a free System 1. And then when attacking, inherits ball once per turn. If you have a Digimon with System 1 in its name in play, unsuspend this Digimon. So being able to attack twice with potentially a Gallon or a Jesmon is pretty big, especially if you have a Bow Hook one and they fit and they've got a couple of one cost to Evo blockers. Okay, say goodbye to the blockers then. Or some more presence. And another card which I'll show you in a second that goes along with it. Uh Rise Greymon. So if I have Bow Hook one, I have attack a tamer in play. This will start allowing me with uh, with the tamer in there to start popping 7k's that's quite a lot of level 5's it's a lot to deal with, obviously I'm not getting the 2 swings as I would because of the savior hook one but potentially taking out a 7k body is pretty massive and then we run 2 ground mon just having the efficiency to go up into the 6 really quick because we don't run a, a massive amount of tamers and memory boosts are great but there are Gazimons, there are Chumons, Terriamons, there are 
we are going to see a lot more of that in this current meta purely because memory boosts are a thing now and they get stopped by memory stoppers but having two cast evos and things like that just to basically let you excel up the chain really quickly is great and also choke as well moving on to level sixes i'll start with your pieces as they're more techy so we want a one of bt2 cannon um reason being purple matchups amazing security draw matchups amazing muskets can be amazing being able to remove their security um, to push the game ahead is really strong. The other effect of when Digivolve come into the field and pop summit doesn't really come up. It's never been that much of a thing. But if it does, it does. And, you know, it's a, it's a great effect when that happens. Uh, we also go. We're gonna start at Adam. So I was I was gonna try to I've tried two of this. I tried two of this. Uh, one one is possibly the way. Um, don't get me wrong, sometimes I'll see this and I really need this and vice versa, but that is just the name of the card game. But they both have situationally good points. For instance, this is a 14k swing. Um, if they didn't delete anything, it has built in security attack plus one. So if you get the grey mod underneath, it's got security attack plus two. And if you have saber underneath it, that's potentially an OTK on its own. So, as you can see, pretty, pretty good way to go about it. And we run four Jesmon. Jesmon is ridiculous. Um, I mean, besides the ult being very nice there, just just to, just to point out, it's a very nice card. Being able to do the things he does in red is um, truly, truly a great thing. I mean, it, literally, when people complained about Lord Knight on last set, welcome to its uh, replacement. I mean, just being able to play one Digimon card with just my in its name from your hand of trash, hand or trash without paying its memory cost when attacking. I'm not sure why it got the effect to play it from trash. I really that ba that part baffled me, but it makes it for a lot more aggressive play style because I'll find a lot of the time that I'll throw down a system on Blanc. Um, I'm still building up. I'll just keep swinging with the Blanc. I'm not even gonna leave it on board because if it's in trash, this is this is live. I'd rather have it in trash because I need to have something live to make sure that it gets the 3k buff and gets piercing. Because when you play another Digimon, this Digimon gets 3000 DP and piercing for a turn. It doesn't even say a system up, it just says any Digimon. You can play two cards vanilla down as long as you've got the memory. If it stays your turn, you'll get piercing and 3k. The value on this card is incredible. Um, I'm not sure why it's, it's a 3 cost either. I'll be honest. And I think that will be a question that a lot of people ask. But all in all, really strong deck, really good qualities to it. I've tried to go some more of the tech stuff, so like the Rise Grey ones. I, this could e easily be a Vulture one, depends on how you want to play into it. Um, I've never found myself to be much of an OTK player. I play, I can play aggressive, I can play defensive. My style though is uh, apparently, what people tell me, is it's been a bit more controlled than anything. So I'm, I'm trying to these. Uh, going into options, or one of delicate plan. With the options, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's completely up to you what you feel is the right ratio. There is no set way to make it. There's not a perfect ratio. Um, it all depends on your locals. It all depends on the meta around you, uh, or what you're going into. So if you think you have loads of security jobs, bump this up. If there's loads of muskets, bump this up. You know, this comes in so handy. Those, those matchups are invaluable. I don't get me wrong, security control I have found you can potentially wait them out and then you will see this eventually uh, whereas muskets are a little bit different because they're a little bit more aggressive because they can just throw things away and sort of recur things out for next to no cost so that one's a flex but however you want to go about it I want to run a one judgment of the blade once again however you want to go with these because I find this card amazing I would run this in a two but I, I'm trying to make it so I have all the different techs for different matchups as best as I can. But this card is amazing. Uh, one of your Digimon with Hookmon in its name or Rural Knight in its type can attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon for the turn. You may and it's from security you may play one Digimon card with system one in its name from your hand or trash without paying its memory cards then add this card to your hand. So we add it to hand and play something from security. 
nuts for one cast. And for security, no cast. And then we run three memory boost. And we want to filter. The worst enemy of Jesmite is consistency. Um, there are times where you break your entity pieces and it really struggles to catch up. Uh, or it just falls, you know, you just basically never see the pieces. So things like this really do help it. And the reason consistency is is because we have a lot of system ones in there which we can't evolve one. If if we get a hand of system ones, we're in a bad place. So things like this that I'll filter through are really strong. And then last but not least, we run two ties. Um reset to three. Possibly get additional check. Uh, if you've got the right stack unless we did your best and anything away, which we generally don't tend to. Always nice to have something there, and about the only red tamer that's useful in this deck, to be honest. So that is the list. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any comments, anything you'd like to change in it, anything you've tested that you feel would be great input for me. I'm a very open minded content creator. I just kind of. As most of the stuff here is something I've tested um, to a good extent, but I, I think there's always room for improvement. And like, as we find with every set that goes on, like the last set towards the end of it, Black Toolbox became a very big thing. It's nice to see those bits of spice coming out a little bit early in sets. So if you've got ideas, throw them my way. So thanks for stopping my Gordos games. Let's get digital and let's get going.